this is what's left of our old kitchen. As you can see, the builders have completely torn it apart. Here's our temporary kitchen for the time being. At the moment, we don't have any lights installed in the ceiling. So what I did instead is put an LED light on the ceiling and it's connected up to some circuitry down here. Now what I have is a phone and if I go to lights.com it comes up with a web page with off, half and full, three buttons. If I just click full, the light turns on to full power. If I click half, it turns on to half power. Click off, it goes off again. Thank you for watching this demonstration. This is how I did it. The first step is having my phone and router connected to an Arduino via Ethernet. The Arduino runs a program which serves a web page to the phone and the page can then send commands back to the Arduino. The Arduino can then control pretty much anything that is connected to it, like my LED lights. The problem is that the lights and the router are on opposite ends of the house, so I needed a wireless link between them. I could have used the official Wi-Fi shield, XP radios or even Bluetooth radios, but all these options are way too expensive. On the other hand, you can get RF modules for pennies, but the range isn't great and you have to encode the entire network stack yourself. In the end, what I came across was this 2.4GHz radio module. They cost just over a pound each and there's a library on the Arduino site which is super easy to use. I used a pair of these radios to link two Arduinos. One serves the web pages and the other controls the lights. And that's how I achieved the effect that you saw earlier. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for some more home automation videos.